Hello there and welcome to this Biology Mind A-level tutorial on calculating cell size. So in our last lesson we learned about the confocal microscopy and how they function and we looked at how laser scanning confocal microscopy was the most common type of confocal microscopy and that it uses laser to illuminate specimen stain for the fluorescent dye. You now understand that these microscopes produce clearer images due to out-of-focus light being blocked by its pinhole mechanism, as well as what limitations are present with this type of microscope. So we have three key learning objectives for this tutorial. Number one, determining actual cell size. Number two, calibrating the IP's graticule. And number three, a worked example. So let's start off by talking a little bit about what's going on here. So using a light microscope, you can easily determine the actual size of a cell. The stage micrometer is a very accurate ruler which shows the true length of the cells. The eyepiece graticule, which is here, is a ruler with no units. So the eyepiece graticule needs to be calibrated with the stage micrometer, which is the true ruler. By calibrating the two, you can determine what each length on the eyepiece graticule corresponds to in terms of actual micrometer measurements on the stage micrometer. So the graticule needs to be recalibrated whenever you change the magnitude. So in exam questions, the eyepiece graticule tends to be the one with small divisions. Even though the eyepiece graticule does not have units, it can have numbers and diagrams, for example. So don't be mistaken into thinking that the 0.1 millimetre divisions refers to the graticule just because it looks like a millimetre ruler. So we'll have a look in more detail at this in our worked example, so don't worry if that doesn't quite make sense for now. So, another way to calculate the actual size of cells is by using the simple formula. So this is our formula where the actual size equals the size of the image over magnification. And that is a really simple formula to use so, for example, in the exam, you may be given an image of a cell. Along with the image of the cell, you may be given the size of the image, as well as the magnification at which the image was taken. And then you just plot those numbers into here, and you can easily find the actual size of the cell. So let's do a worked example. So the question is, the diagram shows an eyepiece graticule and stage micrometer, which is here. So the stage micrometer has divisions every 0.1 millimetres. The eyepiece is used to investigate a cell sample. How many graticule divisions will cover a cell diameter of 20 micrometers? OK, so just pause the video at this point and have a go at this question. And I'll reveal the answer in a few seconds. OK, so the answer is eight divisions. Now let's see how we got to that answer. So, number one, we determined the number of division, divisions of the eyepiece graticule in one division of the stage micrometer. So, the number of divisions here in one division of the stage micrometer. Now, there are 40 divisions of the eyepiece graticule in one division of the stage micrometer. We then calculate the size of one division of the eyepiece graticule. So, if there are 40 divisions of the eyepiece graticule in one division of the stage micrometer, and the stage micrometer has divisions every 0.1 millimetres, that means one division of the eyepiece graticule will be 0.1 millimetres divided by 40, which is 0.0025 millimetres. We then need to convert this to micrometers because this measurement that they've given here is in micrometers, so we want to match them up. And at the moment, this is in millimetres. So I know that 1,000 micrometers equals one millimetre. That's just a fact you have to learn. So to convert between the two, my tip is always put the same units on the same side of the equal sign. So this is our equal sign. So line your millimetres up here. So how I would write this out is I know one millimetre equals 1,000 micrometers. So therefore 0.0025 millimetres equals, and we know from here to here, we have multiplied by 1,000. So that means from here to here, we're going to have to also multiply by 1,000. We have to do the same thing on both sides. So we're going to jump this decimal point three places, and it's now going to land here, 
which means that our measurement in micrometers is 2.5 micrometers. And that's a really easy way to convert between your units. So I would use that method if you can. And it's really, really fail safe as well. So 2.5 micrometers we got here. So this is the size of one division of the eyepiece graticule. We then need to determine how many of this one division we can fit into a cell diameter of 20 micrometers. So we do 20 divided by 2.5 micrometers, 20 micrometers divided by 2.5 micrometers, which is eight divisions. And that's how I arrived at my answer. So I hope that makes a lot of sense to you there. Okay, so just a tip that you need to recalibrate the graticule every time you change the magnification. And then, as I said earlier, in exam questions like the above, the eyepiece graticule tends to be the one with small divisions. Even though the eyepiece graticule does not have units, it can have numbers in diagrams like the one above. So don't be mistaken into thinking that the 0.1 millimetre divisions refers to the graticule just because it looks like a millimetre ruler. OK, so that is our tutorial complete for today. Well done for following through and I'll see you for the next one.